Hi, I'm Vince Sylvester along with Ryan Hoger. Today we have another great video for you on TEC Tube. We're going to be going over how to replace a thermostat. Yeah, Vince, a lot of people are upgrading their thermostats these days, mainly to get them on Wi-Fi and other exciting features. So we're going to help you guys with how to wire those up. All right, so here we are at our thermostat. Uh, this is a basic, simple thermostat. We're going to upgrade it today to a Wi-Fi compatible thermostat. Um, we're going to talk specifically about the wiring, and this process will be the same for any thermostat upgrade, uh, but we'll have to pick one to use, so we might as well make it a Wi-Fi one. We just disconnected power to the furnace and also the thermostat, so I'm going to take the thermostat off the wall in this case. Next thing I'm going to want to do is take note of what color wires are on which labels on this thermostat, because I'm going to need that when I look at the next one. So we're going to take note of what's wired to where on the current thermostat, so when we put the new one on, we know exactly where to put the wires and where to land them. So we're going to actually write them down in this case. There are other methods you can use. You could tag them with tape and stuff like that. I like to write them down. And I also usually take a picture with my phone just to be safe. So in this case, R is going to red. Now under the terminal, you'll see a black wire as well. That's because there's a jumper on this particular old model of stat. G is going to green. W is going to white. Y is going to yellow. And C, common, is going to orange. In most cases, R stands for red, G for green. So usually it matches up like that, but that is not always the case. It all depends on who did the work before you. So always write it down and then preferably take a picture of it with your phone as well. So first I'm gonna remove the thermostat from the actual wall before I take the wires out from the terminals. It's easier to do that. Plus it also makes it so that I don't accidentally drop the wires down the wall if they're just hanging kind of loose there. With the thermostat pulled off the wall, I can make sure that the wires don't fall back behind the, uh, the wall when I take these out. So I'm gonna unscrew each one of these guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the thermostat. Now we gotta go get our new thermostat. So here's the back plate for our new thermostat. This one's got a lot of stuff going on because this thermostat has a lot of features. We're not gonna be using all of those today. But I do want to point a few things out. On this thermostat down the right hand side, we have a lot of accessories like outdoor air temperature sensors, remote room sensors, things like that. And down the left hand side, we have most of our thermostat wiring. This also happens to be a two stage thermostat and we're hooking up to one stage equipment right now. So we're not going to use all of those terminals either. But down the left hand side, we're going to use R, which is the hot, the 24 volt signal. We'll use G for the fan, W1 for heat. We'll skip W2 because we don't have two stages of heat. Y1 will be for cooling. We'll skip Y2 because we don't have two stages of cooling. We'll skip W3 and we'll skip the humidifier dehumidifier section. So we're just going to wire up these five wires down the left hand side. The common one, the fifth one, goes over on the top of the right over here in this case. So our thermostat is wired up, mounted on the wall. Now we're gonna go take a look at the furnace and look at the other side of the wiring cable to make sure these color designations that we use with the thermostat, in fact, match the colors we have at the furnace circuit board. They should, because the old thermostat was working, but you never know, you can't be too safe on that. So let's go take a look. So the green wire is on G, which is for the fan. So that matches up to what we had at the thermostat. Orange is on C for common, so that matches. White is on W, which is for our heating signal. Yellow is on Y, which is for our cooling signal. And R is on red, which is our 24 volt power. So all five wiring designations match up. So now we can go ahead and turn power onto the system and begin checking out our thermostat. So we're gonna restart power to the furnace and the thermostat and make sure everything checks out. So we got a display, that's a good sign. That means we at least have a hot and common wired correctly. Now we can begin configuring this thermostat and then testing the heating and cooling to make sure everything functions as normal. But we'll save that for a future video. So sometimes you don't have enough wires. Uh, in some cases you have a four wire thermostat on the wall and the new one might require five wires, especially in the case of the common thermostat wire that we were just talking about earlier. You can either pull a new cable or you can use what's called an add a wire kit. This allows you to convert a four wire scenario into five wires. Let me show you how it works. There are two pieces that come into the box. This first one's a small diode that goes behind the thermostat. I'll show you how that wires on the wiring diagram. The second piece goes down by the furnace and it has five wires. Two of those wires are specifically to power up this little box. The other three wires correlate to the ones that are going behind the thermostat. So let's take a look at that wiring diagram. 
This is our typical wiring diagram to use a Venstar add a wire kit with a carrier core thermostat or Bryant housewise thermostat. Uh, as you can see over here on the left hand side we have our thermostat on the right hand side we have our furnace and AC system. We have four existing wires in the wall in this case blue, brown, white slash gray and, uh, and red. So we're going to take the green and yellow wire that would have been coming off our thermostat and we're going to combine one single blue wire. So we're basically combining the green and yellow into a single wire that's blue. That'll travel down through the wall and then down over at the furnace we'll install the second part of the accessory and that blue wire will come in from the wall and the accessory, the add wire accessory, will split that back into green and yellow again. So the thermostat thinks there's a green and yellow, the furnace circuit board thinks there's a green and yellow, but in the wall there's really just one wire and in this particular example it happens to be blue. Additionally, there's two more wires you see here which are red and brown and that is just used for 24, 24 volt power to power up the add wire kit. So we're going to take off this green wire off of the fan and we're going to repurpose that and make that wire into our new common wire because we need a common wire that we never had previously. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use this diode that came in the add wire kit. So we'll take off the yellow wire. We're going to use the yellow wire from the diode to go to the thermostat. The green wire is going to go to the fan, G. And then we're going to take this blue wire that's hanging off the other end of this pigtail and we're going to wire nut it to the remaining wire that goes into the wall. So what this is actually going to do, it's going to take my fan signal and my cooling signal, it's going to convert them into a digital signal and send that digital signal over this yellow wire that's back inside the wall over here. Then the box down at the furnace is going to split those back apart for us. So I'm just going to tuck this all back in the wall and put my thermostat on. The first thing we're going to do is take off this green wire that's currently on the fan designation and we're going to repurpose it onto the C, which is the common. We're doing that because we used green for common up at the thermostat, so now we've got to make it match down at the furnace. The second thing we're going to do is take off this yellow wire, which is currently on Y for cooling. We're going to remove that, then we're going to take our second part of the add wire kit, and we're going to connect that yellow wire, I'm sorry, connect the blue wire of the add wire kit, that's what we did upstairs, make it a little confusing for you guys. We're going to wire up those two together, why we not, and Vince will edit it so it looks good. We're going to wire those two together. Okay, so that's our blue wire coming in from the wall. So the yellow wire comes in from the wall and goes to the blue wire on our add wire kit box. And that blue wire is going to get split back into two wires on here, which are green and yellow. So green needs to go back up to G on here, which is where the green wire normally goes. And then the yellow will go to cooling, Y, on the furnace circuit board down here. Okay. So one wire went to the wall, we split it back into two wires just like it was upstairs. These two leads need to go to power, 24 volt power. These last two wires, red and brown, those are for 24 volt power to power up the Venstar add wire box for us. So R in this case is where I'm going to pick up my red wire. So I'm going to have a second wire under here. One is already being used for hot for the thermostat circuit, the other one's going to power up this box. And brown is going to go underneath common because hot R and C common are 24 volt power and we can pick up that power this way. So now this box has 24 volt power on brown and red and it has two wires leaving it for fan and cooling, yellow and green, and it has one wire coming in blue which is the signal wire. So this guy's doing everything we need now. Ryan, thank you so much for showing us how to wire a thermostat and thank you for watching another TEC tube video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe at the bottom so you can see all of our content in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.